I'm Parenthetis, Kim of Life Lover. This is Fix on bass from Life Lover. I am B, one of the founders of Life Lover, and I play guitar live, and I do some additional backup vocals. I'm Non, and I play the drums. <laughs> I'm H, and I play the guitar. Yeah, well, the founders of the band is us two. <coughs> Simply, in the morning you can expect, except that it's about an apartment covered in blood. And us two. We formed the band back in uh, 2005. It was in uh, June, if I remember. We met up and uh, got very drunk and. Uh, cut ourselves and uh, did a lot of stupid things and uh, we ended up playing music together and uh, sat in a room and just jammed together and we did this promo 2005 which is the first uh, Life Live release but this was never op publicly released but uh, for us it's the first release okay. so yeah Pulver is the, the double album Okay. Um, what about your musical style? How did you come to the idea to do this a little bit weird kind of music, I, say, I would say? Uh, well, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I used to play in black metal bands before, and uh, so of course people will say that uh, Life Flower is black metal, but I don't think we will really are. Uh, the, inspir the inspiration, the inspiration I, I take uh, and I well I get when I do the music is like can come from ev everything, it's not music in general, it's just uh, well I, I've, I've been a, yeah, everyday misery, drugs drugs, and stuff like that I just do music and I don't think about what I do, it's just it turns out the way it is and that's what it's life lover so it's nothing there's no special recipe behind it it's just what we feel and what we... we're just being ourselves yeah we're being ourselves and we are very honest about what we do. <laughs> what about your style, your optical style? The, the, the mask with the makeup? Um, well, I, I actually chose to have this mask or on me because uh, I sweat a lot when we play live and my makeup uh, usually looked like this okay. and it ran off my face after like two songs. Yes. So I use this instead now. It's easier and it's. You won't fall off my either. face. Uh, it's always been kind of a thing to be anonymous in this band. Is this important for you to be anonymous? Yeah, uh, yeah I say it is in a certain sense. It's kind of part of the expression. That we don't really expose our personalities too much and let people focus on the music and the lyrics and the message instead. How's the tour going so far? Yeah, this is... Uh, this tour consists only of two dates, but uh, so this is the first evening, and so far it's been going pretty well. Uh, the trip was pretty smooth, and this is a it's a great it's a it's a good venue, and so far everything's been going nice. So we we've all got high hopes for the gig, and we think it's going to be a good evening. What's your audience about? Are they true metalheads like Iron Maiden fans? Uh, I think I can speak for pretty much all of us when we say that the majority of our audience don't really appeal to us as persons. They're mostly kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it really. You want to talk to you? Well, for me, I, uh, I uh, like uh, everyone that shows up and so wants to see Life Flower. I don't care how they look or anything, but uh, yeah, it would be nice if some more than just metalheads showed up and watched us because we know we have those fans. So it would be pretty, pretty nice. Try to distance ourselves from the black metal scene a little. Yeah, but uh, we will always have we will always have one foot in the black metal scene, I yeah. think. Well, the thing is that uh, we have access. 
We have uh, we have so many different influences from so many other genres than black metal. So of course we want our audience to reflect that as well. You know, we want people to know if, you know, if someone listens to a really experimental uh, pop music or whatever, you know, trance music or whatever, and they just happen to like left them. Of course, they're welcome to our beats. And um, yeah, we you know we we all listen to all sorts of different music. So of course we want those fans to listen to uh, music and come to our beats. Sure. Yeah. Are you, are you proud of your success? Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, we didn't really have any goal at first. We had no goal at all. We just... Uh, I mean, at first we had thought about doing some limited demo tapes and seven and just whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as we can do what we do and uh, we're simply being ourselves. And uh, as long as people uh, appreciate that and keeping themselves, forever. It's a little bit satiric aspect and you're in the whole band because of the name. Well, so, it never hurts if people think. Well, people themselves. people should think for themselves when they listen to us. Uh, of course, our band name is Life Flower, but if you look into the music and the lyrics and everything, you if you have a brain, you should uh, yeah. Yeah. probably not understand what it's all about. Yes, but how did you come to this name? Was uh, the special thinking about this, or why not? Did it just happen? Why not? Why not? It happened, but I was called a Life Flower once by a gay a guy I hate. A gay <laughs> person I hate. <laughs> so um, I thought it was conven convenient. We and simply thought, well, why not? Why not? Yes. Well, sure, <laughs> call us live, call us live lovers. Yeah. People, we'll call people, us anything you want. People always react to the name, so it's good. To, you know, we're life lovers in our own sense, in the personal sense. We it's all drugs. about definition. It's anything else. <laughs> yeah, we love drugs. We love Is drugs, you know. <laughs> I think. Uh, this band has always, uh, I'm a relatively new member, as you know, I've only uh, participated on the n uh, newest MCD, but I think this band has always stood for uh, paradoxes between different bipolar emotions like happiness and joy and, you know, everyday misery and uh, melancholy and sometimes finding the joy in these things. So it's always been a lot about different paradoxes in everyday life. So it's definitely an aspect of satirical and dark irony and dark humor and everything but I can say uh, I think uh, we destroy ourselves more with this band than we build up ourselves so, or it's like 50-50 percent in, in some way but uh, being out like this and uh, touring and stuff it's <laughs> it's pretty miserable sometimes but uh, before he joined the band, he was uh, a pretty nice guy, and now we have destroyed him in a couple <laughs> yeah, of months. I'm just 18 years old, and I was pretty clean before I joined the band, but now I'm completely he's perverted. He's totally depraved. What do your parents say to your music, to your image, <laughs> to your style, to this negativeness? Well, my father hates what I do, and... Uh, yeah, my father would never approve of what I do. He throws away anything. Does it come to you, or do you say, I don't care? Well, my mother supports what I do. She's an artist, and she's helped several of my friends as well. Uh, my mother supports what I do when she's drunk. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, she doesn't approve it that much, but she most definitely more than my father. So, uh, well, it's I don't really care about it. I do what I do. Simple. As uh, we mentioned before, we're just being ourselves. So finally, um, is there something you would like to say to your German fans? We would appreciate if you're a little bit wilder, wilder when we play, and not just stand there and watch, watch us. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that shit. Okay. So far, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. And have fun today, and good luck. <laughs> so.